Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm C Tech Dude, and today we're looking at mystery Amazon Pokemon cards to see if they're a scam or a score. Let's go. So I actually bought three of these. One of them is a Japanese one. It's this one, the one that's a super rare on it. And the other two are normal US Pokemon cards, but they're guaranteed to have two times ultra rare, art rare, secret rare, and plus 60 authentic, probably junk cards and then 10 holo cards. So actually a pretty good, seems like a pretty good value for the price. I think there's like 16 bucks a piece. So let's see, I'm not shooting for the moon, hoping that there's gonna be like a Charizard in here, but let's see if actually a good value or not. So let's go ahead and start with one of the US version cards. So I have not, I have no affiliation with this company. It's from a company called Straight Up Cards. If you look at Amazon, they're on there. I just kind of sort by newly released and bought the newest and unreviewed cards to see what they are. So you get a nice little deck box. <clears throat> and then there's the pack it comes in. It's got the US flag, so you know that these are US cards. <clears throat> and let's see if we get some winners, guys. Okay, there we go. So here is the card you get. Charmander's up front. So these are all the common cards, kind of going to flip through these quickly. Um, not really seeing anything to write home about, but then in the back is when we should start seeing the hollows. There we go. Here's a reverse hollow clay doll. So Milstery, Frostmoth, Nicket, Weezing, Friends and Galar, Thrall, Bibarel, Torterra, Dusknor, Napoleon, Arilla Boom V, and a Vaporeon V. Not bad, full art. So, so about I expected. You know, this card's worth about a dollar fifty, and this worth about fifty cents. So, two dollars worth of high price cards, and then the rest are just kind of random hollows that aren't really worth much either. So, sixteen dollars. I'm gonna say at least for this one, might be a scam. So we'll see what the other one brings. We're gonna open the other US box of cards real fast and see if it's also a scam or if it has the hits we've been looking for. So let's go. But you do get a nice box to put your cards in. So, you know, that's worth like probably a dollar. So in that first one, probably about a $3 value. I know you have some rares and stuff, but those don't go for much. So another US box of cards. I don't want to call this company a scam because I have faith that, you know, these car these people want you to have a good experience and get some cool cards, but also they're opening the cards. They're probably going to keep the most rare cards and the highest priced ones and then put the rest in a mix mystery box and hope some sucker buys them. So here we go. So again, we got Charmander to start with and then a bunch of, you know, normal 150 Pokemon on here. And then some other ones from other sets. So let's go back to the rare ones. So we got Ponyta, Rhydorn, Butterfree, Leopard, Spoopa. We got a Machamp, that's kind of a cool card. And a Snorlax. And wow, just pulled a Mewtwo V. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. So actually, <laughs> I mean, again, guys, I have no affiliation with this company. I just, I bought them to see what was in the in the packs. And you know what? Snorlax, Machamp, Mewtwo V. I'm happy with that. I'm actually very happy with that. So I'm going to put these in sleeves so they don't get damaged. But let's see the condition-wise. Got some whitening on the corners. This is a nice Mewtwo guard. That's okay. I'm happy with that, guys. <laughs> the Snorlax in a sleeve as well. So second pack, a score. So you know what? I'm going to say this is not a scam because that's that's a good deal. Could you buy these cards cheaper? Maybe, but it's fun opening mystery packs from Amazon. Okay, so second pack was a score. Let's move on to the Japanese. I've, I've actually never opened some Japanese cards before, so I'm kind of excited see what we get 
So again, this is about, this one's about a little more expensive. It's about $17, $18. And they arrived from Prime, so it's always fun. Okay, so here we go. This is the Japanese one. As you can see, you have the Japanese flag there. Okay, here we go. I'm not going to know any of the names of these probably because I don't speak Japanese. And again, if they're not the 150 area Pokemon, there's a Scyther. I'm not going to know them yet. Charmeleon. Okay, let's get to the cool ones back here. Ghastly. Almost there. You actually do get, I mean, quite a few cards. I mean, you, so if you're a collector, this might not be a bad value, you know? Rather than buying four packs of Paldean Fate, you can just get one of these. So we got a Reverse Hollow. Okay, what do we got in the back here? Okay. Not bad. Two full art, ultra rare cards. Cool. So I'm not going to say this company is scam. Actually, I kind of like this idea. You know, you get two times guaranteed full art, secret rare, super art cards. Um, so overall, I'm going to give it a thumbs up, guys. If you're looking for some random cards to open on a rainy day, check them out. Um, I'll link these in the description below so you can buy them yourselves if you want to. And I appreciate, appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure you leave a like and also consider subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Bye.